right, everybody. Welcome to the Studying Brew, episode 720 Woo! on this Serious Six Thursday. We're so glad that all of you made it. I know it was month end. It was super crazy, right? Pushing those numbers, making sure you finish strong because you are the best of the best. And that's what the Kona family is, really. I mean, you're just trying to hit it on all levels, not only just getting your, your uh, license, but you're also trying to do your numbers and your business. And if you're in Primerica, especially, you know, you really need to study and you need to have your numbers. You really do. Mm -hmm. Because once you get all your licenses, you want to be able to put yourself in a position where you can really level up. You can really get a raise. You know, you can really go to that next level. And for a lot of you, that is the broker. That yeah. is the regional vice president. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go, go, go. Make it happen. Make 2023 the year that everything changes for you. Yes. You're, you're in command. So it's awesome to see all of you that uh, decided to be on here tonight and just studying. Uh, you guys are all amazing. You're all warriors in my eyes. And it's good to see every single one of you. Uh, my name is Andy. I am the guy that runs the boards. I'm Brandy's taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh, driving this. I'm like driving this Daisy <laughs> everywhere today. Uh, I'm like, I felt like Morgan Freeman. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, <laughs> But you're not here for my chauffeuring skills. No, you're here for Brandy. She's got her Series 6, 63, 26, Series 65, and her Series 7, which makes her more than qualified to teach you all the things you need to know so that way you, too, can get those pass notices. And why was I driving Miss Daisy around all day or Miss Brandy around all day today? <laughs> uh, guys, You need. I, um, I want you to put your hands together and say a prayer. Brandy's mom is in the hospital. Uh, she uh, had to be admitted. Uh, she her she's diabetic and her sugar was a little out of control mm -hmm. and uh, they got to keep her overnight for monitoring so they can get her uh, you know squared away squared away yes we're gonna keep away. it positive she's a she's alert she's awake she's yeah. conscious but she definitely needs that positive mental attitude so if you're on the discord uh, she's on there you just uh, at Roxy Kona butterflies yes and uh, she's on there and you can just drop her a line message her over there. Uh, she'll probably get back to you tomorrow because I'm going to have to get her a charger for her yeah. phone. Uh, it was <laughs> it was one of those surprise, you're staying overnight. Right. So we weren't eating. Brandy was at the hospital all day today, just, just standing, waiting by just to see how mom's going to be. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> and so we she right when she got admitted to a room, that's when they went, visiting hours over. So she never got to see her mom today. Yeah, it was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we'll let you guys all know, but we're positive. <laughs> Yes, yeah, staying positive. Stay positive. Prayers up. Uh, I, I believe in the power of prayer. And uh, what do they say? This too shall pass. Yes. So we'll just we're just gonna keep it. Uh, just keep them prayers going. Yes, please. So I thank all of you, and uh, we're gonna get it going. Yeah. Yeah. I literally picked up brandy so that way we, we can be on here with you guys, <laughs> because I know and there's some people are like, you know, you guys could cancel. You know, things are more important than us. No. This, we need you guys as much as you need us. To be honest with you. You yeah. you keep us positive. You keep us like you know. You kidding me? When we get passers, yeah. mm -hmm. drive us, drive us. You know, drive us every day. Yeah. To hear the things and how your life's changing and how this has really helped you in so many different ways and your aspects of your life and just all that all that stuff really keeps us going and on our mission to just help as many people as we possibly can. And uh, in, this is not our paid, you know, this is the free. And we've been doing this because we really, really do love the fact that, you know, anybody can be on here. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact when we get some people that can't afford, you know, anything, you know, as far as like our program mm -hmm. and they just got that drive and they got that, they're just driven to just do something and they're just going to do whatever it takes, even if it has to be at 1 a.m. in the East Coast, like, you know, like a Tim in Ohio Yep. or, you know, we had Lavelle, right, in New York. Mm -hmm. We had so many different people from all over the United States, you know, Florida, you know, Pennsylvania. 1 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, they do it every night. Yep. How can I how can I not be on here? Well, yeah, plus uh, let's let's be real, guys. Uh, my mom, Roxy, she'd be super mad if I canceled because of Yeah, she would. She'd be upset at <laughs> She already was texting me, um, <laughs> why are you here? You're supposed to be on, on the brew. I go, Mom, I got time. It's cool. Yeah. Relax. So Chill. Even Roxy's in on it. She yes. wants you guys to get your get your licenses and do what you guys need to do to level up. It's become it, it has become our family's like thing. It is everybody in the family knows and 
how and they all are concerned about how many passers we have they're all concerned about how you know so and so is doing mm -hmm. they're pulling through even our you know even our teenage kids care yeah so you guys are all like family to us you guys are really are Absolutely. so we appreciate all of you 100 percent and uh like we've we've prayed all the time for you know mm -hmm. for who whoever needs it and i really do believe you know power of prayer so prayers for roxy yeah. and i prayers for your family as always i always pray for you guys so with that and we're gonna have a new month yes. we're in the month of june to our members we are gonna start something new next week what? look in your your email boxes but i did update all the different uh live session calendars all that stuff so if you were on patreon you know where it's all at it's already been updated even on the discord you can find it it's all been updated all that stuff's on the calendar and the google calendar it's all updated so if you really want to jump ahead before i even get to it all that information is already out um but i will resend it this this weekend mm -hmm. i will have out all those announcements and go ahead so that way you guys can have all that written down you know and, and know the schedule but i'm letting you know we have two major changes we're not having any more four o'clock pacific standard time right. uh sessions anymore no no more live sessions at 4 p.m pacific which is 7 p.m eastern uh we're moving the tuesday mm -hmm. uh 4 p.m which was the series six right and that one is moving to Monday. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. At 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. So that one will now be on Monday at 2 p.m. Right. And then the SIE 4 p.m. is now moving to Thursday. Thursday at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Yeah. So we're moving that one two hours earlier. Yes. So one of the reasons why summertime, not a lot of people are, you know, doing the, the 4 p.m. and during the summer for various reasons or the 7 p.m. It's hot as heck in the West Coast. It's hot in the Western states. Yeah. And that's when we all come out of our shelters. That is true. <laughs> so it's like yeah. we've been indoors all day. We want to get out, go see our clients, all that stuff, breathe, go get groceries. Because it's like when you can go outside and not, you know, your face not melt off. Right. Crofty said he can't take it no more. He's just like, he goes, I, I cannot do the daytime in Arizona. I got to wait for the sun to go down a bit yes. or he'll melt. <laughs> and so I'm like, all right, all right. But yeah. there's a lot of Arizonians that we got to protect out there. Plus, yes. the other, plus the people in California and all the states, man, we're just burning up during the summer. Right. So yeah. we're going to do that. And we're going to, we're going to, um, we're going to make some changes and see what, how it happens and how it works out. So, um, but look for all that, those, all those changes. Like I said, it's already out. The information's already out there. You can go get it. But on the weekend, I'm going to definitely make multiple 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 announcements uh you know multiple. emails make sure everybody's got that and i know there's going to be at least one person i'll say did that change yes I, i'm going to do it as many places i possibly can the answer will be yes. all right so uh what happened don't worry oh all right and then online on-demand courses uh, live sessions. If you want to get in on those sessions that I was just talking about, uh, go ahead and join up, scan our QR code, hit the link in the chat, become a member, really take advantage of those live sessions. We have brand new 21 day plans. We have brand new videos that are going to be dropping this summer. We're going to really update everything this summer. It's going to be a red hot summer for Kona butterflies because we're going to be on a mission to update everything. Yes. Uh, and it's, it's going to be pretty dang cool, especially if you've seen the series 63 and then brand new plan on how that works. Uh, that is where we're going. Yes. Uh, and uh, moving ourselves into a direction in which we can have like our own app at yes, one point. We are. Ooh, so I, I got some information today. All right. Study guides available. SIE 663, $20. You don't need to be a member for that. Orientation replay explains everything we do, paid and free. Kona community, that is our Discord where you can uh, find Roxy, Brandy's mom, and you can drop her a line over there. But more importantly, you can find Brandy over there and you can give her a message and say hey brandy what's up what's up uh, i did get a message from somebody who's not a member um uh and the sie channel mm -hmm. brenda t uh not a member but well, i'm gonna help her get started anyways guys it doesn't matter to us so if you need some help let us know on there there's a lot of people on there can help you out as well and it doesn't necessarily mean have to be like just our 21 day plan or just that and mm -hmm. and i you know throw our hands up but we'll we'll help you as best we can I'm going to say it right now. I, I have no clue what Kaplan's doing if you're on the Kaplan thing, but I can get you in a general direction in an area what you which you can get yourself an idea of how to how to help yourself out there. 866 Hey Kona, you can leave me a voicemail or a text. 
Also on the Discord, Brandy, uh, Jamie threw her hand up there. She's all, me too. I can help. Yes, yeah, she's going to help. Um, she can help you with a lot of things. Yes, so uh, shout out to Br- to Jamie. Yeah. All right. all right. We got live sessions not nope. happening tomorrow. No live sessions. We had meeting, like we have meetings that just did not work out to where we could not change it around and we had to go and it was like, like we just had to go. Yeah. And it just canceled. But now seeing that I believe now God was like already ahead of this. Yeah. He said, "You're gonna not be because yeah. mom's gonna be in the hospital." Yeah. So, so it all worked out. So live sessions are not gonna happen tomorrow, but yeah. we'll be back uh, on Sunday for all the members and uh, Monday back to business as usual. Yeah, right. And Saturday. All right. Well, I was. I was oh yeah. Well, I said members. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. Speaking yeah. of Saturday, we have a workshop coming. The test taking techniques workshop Saturday. It's free. It's this same Zoom in the morning, uh, 8 a.m. Uh, with 30 minutes. We're gonna have that going on. So you bring a friend, bring anybody. Life exams, securities exams, MLOs. We got all that great stuff, and uh, we're gonna go over the the very basics of our techniques. What are those? We're gonna show you in just a minute. We're gonna go do the serious six and exactly go over six different questions for six different exams. And we're gonna use those test techniques to break it down. So if you really like it, go to this workshop. It'll help you out and then explain. We teach this stuff to our kids. We teach it to like a lot of different people and it helps them out and definitely gives them a little bit more confidence going into those exams. Um, it, it's just one of those things that just a skill set you just need to have. Mm-hmm. Like I told you know everybody, don't don't be going into these exams like you're 11, just barely learning how to use a Scantron. <laughs> yeah, have a, have a have a new way of attacking these multiple choice exams. There you go. Shout out to my childhood with the Scantron. I know, right? All the all the all the older folks know what I'm talking yeah. about. Man, I I hated the bubbles that were like these ones. Number two, talk. Ticonderoga. Yeah, where they were like these. Like, I hated those. Why? Why do we have that? Why do we have brackets? I didn't even know there was a number three pencil until I was pointed out there's only number twos that we can use on the Scantron. I, I, yeah. Never paid attention to. Yeah. Didn't even know. All right, let's get to it. Let's go. All right. The serious six. Like I said, we're going to have six different exams, six questions, six answers, all test taking techniques. We're going to break it down. Yes. And it starts now. Watch how Brandy does this, how she breaks them down. Well, how, why is she doing answers first? It is a great way to attack. It is a technique in which we use to read the answers first, because if you read the answers first, you read the question with intent. Um, I don't know how Brandy's going to do it tonight, but sometimes she blocks out the question and she only reveals the answers. Sometimes it's, it's the opposite, but when she's going through it, don't just simply answer the question. Look how she really made look for those keywords and got to it. If you can master technique strategies, these strategies, even 10% of what she brings, even a mastery of 10%. Wow. That could help you out because let's say you're scoring 60% on your exams with just content. You add the extra 10 with from Brandy, pass notice. That's right. Any little bit, any little edge you can give yourself, the better. Absolutely. All right, let's go. All right, let's do it, guys. I did not do the special blocks today, but I did do blocks. Okay. So I have one of the things that I do, guys, when I look at my answers as I look and I'm like, oh man, look at those capital letters right there. That's the MFP. Right. So let's look, let's look at the let's look at the other letters. I mean the other numbers. I mean, oh my goodness, the other words on the screen. <laughs> Right. I got the majority of the dealer's reportable contributions fall into the MFP de minimis. Guys, that's Latin for the minimum. Okay. De minimis. Yeah, you so, can see it there. Mini. Yeah, right. But it says the majority of the contributions fit into that exception. The other one says uh, the dealer has not engaged in municipal securities business for the last eight calendar quarters. Let's think about eight calendar quarters, guys. Real, just real quick, just to put this in normal english dare i say yeah right instead of prison terms yeah eight quarters that's three months each eight times three is 24 24. right so that's 24 months or as you know every 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 mom that's ever been right you guys know exactly what 24 months is right two years there you go some moms still know how old their kids are by months (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> they're like 40. That's right. 
the dealer has only engaged in competitive underwriting during that quarter. So during that quarter, and the dealer only made political contributions through its political action committee. So I have two onlys, the majority fits in the exception, and then I have just hasn't done the business, right? Yeah. I just summed that up. So let's look at the question. And the question says, a dealer is not required to submit the normal political contribution disclosures to the MSRB if, I don't know, I haven't engaged in secure in municipal securities business for at least two years. Yeah, you're not even engaged. You're not even in the business. You haven't done it in two years. Why would I have to report any of my political contributions? Isn't that the most simple? It's the most simple, but most overlooked. Exactly. But it's the answer. Don't overcomplicate. Don't overcomplicate. And, you know, yeah, you could have you could have struck out the onlys, right? Right yeah, away. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mona applies and then got it down to an A and a B. Yeah. And then at that point, that's where the, the common sense comes in. And you're just like, oh, I haven't done anything. One thing that I should point out that I don't say enough, or I don't even know if I've ever said this, but you guys notice how I reworded everything into simple, simple terms. Yes. I reworded the answers into simple terms. Right. So I knew what to look for. Yeah, you're not going with the de minimis. De minimis. De minimis. Who says that? De minimis. The de minimis rule. That's All what right. I call them de minimis coopers. The <laughs> mini cooper. <laughs> the de minimis. <laughs> they should do that. I know they should. All right. Determine whether or not all statements are uh, made are accurate. So determine if the statements are made that are accurate. Ensure that the securities provide a good potential investment opportunity. Provide a good potential investment opportunity. C, make sure that it contains no emissions of material facts. That means everything's that, right? I like to say every I is dotted and every T is crossed. Can you imagine? What if you forget? Never mind. And <laughs> decide whether or not, whether, whether, my gosh, focus decide whether the securities merit sec approval hmm. Hmm. so we're obviously talking about securities jasmine says all are true except Ooh. good job look who's look who's paying attention except maybe even a not true either way i might be looking for one that's different Right. So I got the word accurate. I got good potential investment opportunity, no emission of fact, and I got approval and merit. Right. I don't know. I think this one's basic. I think if I fill out a form, it needs to be filled out. Right. Yeah. That's basic. Right. Basic. Which of the following best describes what SEC regulators are attempting to do when reviewing the registration statement for new securities issue? Well, guys, fun fact. When this SEC is reviewing a registration statement, they are not fact checking. They are not trying to see if it has good investment potential. And they are not trying to pass merit on its approval. So the only thing that the SEC does is says, did you answer all the questions completely? completely? Did you put your name on the form? Okay. It's complete. It's a complete registration. That's all they care about is that complete registration. Much like the Scantron bubble. Did you fill in the bubble oh, all the way? It is the Scantron. It's the Scantron test. It is the fill in the bubble test. I guess that the kids know it as the online state testing. Now it's, yeah, now it's, now it's a computer play. Make sure you click on the bubble in its entirety. I'm just kidding. All right annually this one is all technique guys i got this one half paying attention <laughs> all on technique i got annually at least 90 percent of gross income must be real estate related income i got 95 percent of gross income must be related to real estate i got at least 75 percent of total assets must be invested in real estate and i have annually at least 75 percent of the income must be distributed to shareholders so we are talking, I'm just going to circle it in two different colors. I got my 75 and I got my 75, but I also have, um, where did I see it? It was 
oh, I looked at this at least annually 90. Annually at 75, at at least 75. Wait, oh my gosh. Did I not? I'm all looking at this real quick. Did I not see? That's funny because when I did this originally at, by myself, I saw that these two were opposite. And for some reason, I was thinking A and C are opposite. Hmm. But now I can't see why. I think, oh, you know why? Because I didn't even see this when I was reading. And I actually didn't even see that. I just saw that and that. <laughs> uh -huh. Guys, I all I did, I'm like, I was looking at, wait, what did I do when I did this? One thing that I did was I focused on the 90, the 95, the 75, the 75, right? So C and D are opposite of each other because they both say 75. And then I think what I saw, just like glancing real fast, if I did my quick look right here, I saw the real estate and the real estate. So then I, so in my brain, I just said, oh, A and C are opposite as well. So that means that the answer would be C because we call that the double dip. Got it. Okay. So what I'm saying, guys, is I didn't thoroughly read all of the words in the in the answered set, but I can tell you. Oh, wait, I forgot to reveal the question. Oops. Which of the following conditions must be met by a REIT in order to avoid taxation of dividends? So it's actually when we talk about REITs, REIT means that 75% has to be invested in real estate. I mean, it is called a REIT, right? invested in real estate right. and if it and if this was an accept and really weird then d would probably have been the answer and 90 percent, like it doesn't apply at all because d is way out there mm -mm -mm. annually at least 70 percent of 75 percent of income must be distributed to shareholders right it has nothing to do with reits really kind of right. right 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 okay so let me go over this one again okay guys remember i was half paying attention okay so when I looked at this question, I'm going to highlight exactly what I saw. Okay. I'm going to highlight how my eyes saw it. Okay. So my question came up and I immediately saw 75, 75. I went, those two are opposite. Okay. And then I couldn't ignore the fact that it said 90% and 95%. Those aren't opposite of each other. So that was my first thing. So C and D are opposite. And then my eyes just naturally went to the back of the question and I saw real estate, real estate. I didn't like one, two, three, four, five, six. I saw six things on my screen, right? So I said, okay, well, those two are opposite because C is opposite. I mean, because C and D are opposite and A and C are opposite. We call that the double dip that C was in two opposites. That's what made that the answer. Now that's based 100% on technique. Okay. Again, I was half paying attention. So I didn't see that the word real estate was in B. Yeah. It double dip is basically when, when you have an answer, that's it, it's, it's um, a part of two different scenario, like two different patterns. There you go. Right. Like you might have one that's like uh, opposite of something. And then and it's also the different one. Right. Or it's also the one that has the, doesn't have the Mona or whatever. It has something right. in it. And you're like, oh, okay. If it's two different patterns, that was the one's the one. Yeah. Yeah. If, t if one answer choice is in two different patterns, it's extremely rare that that's not the answer. Right. It's just, it's just like almost saying, I don't know why, but that's the answer. Right. <laughs> and if you guys see what I wrote in blue right there, that is the official content. So I got it on a technique. I backed it up with the real content though. Right. Okay. So does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Because I know there's some T personalities yeah. are just like their brain hurts. They're like, what? It's like an itch they can't scratch. I hear you. I hear you. Until they get that scratched. Right. So there you go. All right. If you're in the exam, you might not remember all that. Exactly. Okay. So I have only George. I have neither, I have only Judy, and I have both. A and C are definitely opposite because it's George or Judy. And then technically B or D is opposite because it's either neither or both. So I got to find out who are they, right? Who are they? Well, I just really got to determine who are they. Yeah, and there's no true double dip there either. No, there is no double dip in that one, right? So let's reveal the question. What's going on in here? So Judy isn't, so Judy is in the 
business of giving general investment advice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suggesting appropriate as asset allocation percentages, but not recommending specific securities. It doesn't matter. She's in the business of giving investment advice. Some would say an advisor. Exactly. She gets paid to give advice. Right. right? Okay. Now, George, his business model is giving investment advice and recommending specific securities. So to me, both Judy and George are in the business of investment advice, period. Have oh. you guys ever been to the been um, questioned, asked, were you at the grocery store on Tuesday at 8 p.m.? And if you say, yeah, but, and then continue to tell why you were at the store. That's not answering the question. The question was not, why were you at the store? The question is, were you at the store? Right. Okay. Keep it to the facts, man. Yes. The Answer just the question, please. Yes. The yeah. 63. It's like how every husband talks to their wives, right? No, I'm just kidding. Well, Can we get to the point? The 63 is exactly like that. If I have Judy and George both in the business of giving investment advice, that means they both have to register. And who cares about the rest of it? You already heard they both do the business. Both is the answer. End of story. Don't get confused yeah. by the other stuff in there. Yeah. None of that other stuff matters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I had to put in the numbers, guys. I had to. Because when you guys see this, it is going to blow your mind all right mine's ready to be blown okay so if i compare one to two 125 shares or 100 shares one is higher one is lower am i right yeah um i am i can follow this brandy okay this is in my wheelhouse of following got it now cost basis cost basis one is higher 25 and one is lower 20. i'm really liking this i can follow this all day long right Chances are I'm not going to have a cost basis of 25 and 20. No. Unless I'm talking about two separate things, right? It has to be. Okay. Now, what do we know? What's the general rule of thumb studying for securities? When one is up, the other is down. Usually, yes. Or when one is down, the other is up. Either Especially way. Especially when it comes to shares and cost basis. Exactly. When I see shares and cost basis, I know one up, one down. Exactly. So if I just kind of take my little highlighter real quick, that one's up, that one's down, which means they're opposite, right? Or they go together. Or they go together. This one's down, this one's up. It's like matching socks. So let me go look in my answer real quick. <laughs> this is like matching socks. <laughs> Who does that? Right? Is there a two and three? Yes, there is. Is there a one and four? Yes. Yes, there is. Let's look at the numbers that we start with because well, there's no, so we don't need A and B, so we can cross them off. Let's cross them off. Let's get them out of here. So we're already down to a 50. Okay, let's go. I start with 100 and I start at 25. So technically speaking, my pink is now equal, isn't it? Because that's what my question is starting with. But I have this 25% stock dividend, which means that they're giving me stock. So that means my price is going lower. So because it says 25% stock, that means I'm going to increase my number and I'm going to decrease my price. And that's all I needed to know about that. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, wait, can I say this? Did you guys see how I flexed my assumption? in the pink you flexed it uh -huh. yeah i got you okay cool one more one more ah. all right only if he paraphrases the passages he wishes to or to use in order to avoid copyright infringement you can't do that <laughs> no he just uh, <laughs> uh I was gonna say no I have never heard that in my studying at all. Paraphrase. Some, some of you probably got busted for that in high school, right? <laughs> right. You're like, it's not a direct quote. I put right. dot, dot, dot. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, without restriction, since the material is available to the public. This, again, would probably be a no because we can't just take somebody's information and use it. No. Okay. 
So then I have provided he warns, by the way, again, this is a flag here. I have never, ever, ever seen the word warns his customers. <laughs> That's we, we don't do that. We don't warn. We, hey. we disclose things. <laughs> hey, but by we the don't way, warn. that author of that disclosure warning. is an alcoholic. <laughs> warning. Some warning. of that might not be right. They might have been high when they wrote that, to be honest with you. I just want you to know that when you read this, this is a high person writing this out. Yeah, right. Probably not true. And then I get to D where it says, provided he fully informs. Okay, now that's a happier word, right? Informs yes. his customer of the authorship of the article. Right. I don't know, guys. Uh, D's just makes me happy, right? So I'm going to read the question. Sounds most reasonable. Doesn't it sound the most reasonable? A registered representative has found an excellent mutual fund analysis recently published by an independent financial analysis. He would like to use this material in his recommendations to his cus customers. He may do so with principal approval, provided that he fully informs his customers of the authorship of the author of the article. Well, uh, I see the question authorship question mark. Look, they use fancy words over here up in this thing, right? We don't say, uh, what is, let's discuss the authorship. We don't say that in normal talk. I see you left behind XYZ's prospectus, but I want to discuss the authorship of that. Basically, it's who's the author. The, who's the writer of that? Who wrote this thing? Who created? Can you please give me their diploma and all their information Oops. in which they graduated and their degree? analyzed right who's the one that actually created this document yeah. that's what that is. yeah they just aren't saying who wrote it and a lot of times guys it... in the exam they do that they use big words they do they could have used a little word for her, but you know why they do that because people taking the exam get caught up on it and they're like i don't know what authorship is guys do you know that the majority a lot, I was gonna say the majority that would be an exaggeration but a lot of the questions I didn't know every single word that I saw but I would see authorship and I would go I wonder if that's just an author <laughs> right. right like you see what I'm saying I try not to go any deeper than that I try not to think so hard yeah yeah take your best best guess of the word meaning or just yeah like look at the word and go that looks like that I bet you it has something to do with that. Just like the person in the chat put, take your best guess of the word and meaning. I was like, I'm guessing that they meant guess and it's not guest. Not, not a le, le, fou, le, fou, fle, le fle. It's kind of the same thing. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. No, oh, but guess. it was a good way to point out, though. I mean, I wasn't trying to make fun of the typo. No, no, but it's, but it's but the same it's, thing. But it's the same thing. It's the same kind of concept. You know, you guys are going to come across words that if you took them very literally make no sense so you like we learned one your human interpretation you might not know latin yeah but if you look at the minimus I bet you that that's the nothing minimus. about that says grande <laughs> just saying yeah there are some de minimis hands not saying you got big hands that's all Anyways, all right, everybody, we made it. Thank you so much for being on here. I know it was month end. A lot of people didn't make it because they're a little exhausted and they're like, I'll catch up on Monday, but not you. Not you. Because you know the importance of staying consistent, staying after it, because that's the only way to get it done. And I appreciate every single one of you making the time to be on here. And we will be back Saturday morning for that yes. test taking techniques workshop. We'll also be back for the evening espresso for all the members. And everybody else, live sessions that are going to be all brand new on Monday. And for that studying brew for you guys on uh, Kona Catchphrase. So thank you so much. Be safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. And keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a great night and an even better weekend. Thank you guys so much for being on. We super appreciate you guys. Don't forget to take your quizzes tonight and through the weekend. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great one. Good night.